And I remember when we first started doing it, me and the other guitar player had been in like a, a locally popular rock and roll band. And then we get up there and we're doing straight blues and they're, they're ready to throw things at us. I was like, what's this? You know? <laughs> Here was on Long Island. There were rock acts that were emulating, imitating the English pop bands that were coming, the English invasion bands. So that's why we never really were able to develop into our own blues scene, like the Delta Blues or Chicago Blues. We had no blues scene. All we had was a rock and roll scene. So what had happened was Muddy Waters came to my father's place, and all of a sudden there's 900 people want to see him because. They understood now that the Stones, the Allman Brothers, and all these other groups, you know, came from that a lot. And all of a sudden, people on Long Island became interested in blues. You had Little Buster and the Soul Brothers, Stevie Cochran and the Last Chance Blues Band, Sam, blues man Taylor, Doug Harmonica McLean. Those were the big blues guys back in the early days. In order to do this, you have to commit. You have to commit your life to it. It's not something that you could just do on the weekend. And it means a lot of sacrifice, a lot of giving certain things up, but <laughs> you get a lot of great things back. <laughs> 